Hey guys, this is Beto Chingon. Uh, happy 4th of July. And this time we replaced this uh, main board on this television. And uh, this 85 inch television 4K got damaged due to uh, power surges and blackouts. The problem is we're running a, a solar system. So we're running inverters off grid. And the manufacturer of these inverters told us that we can use those inverters in um, parallel, okay? There are 6,000 watt inverters and we have six units and we're supposed to be able to con connect all these units and be able to run them in parallel. Well, these units actually work, uh, single units, they work 24 seven without any problems. When you connect two units, they work 24 seven without problems, you know? But then when you start adding three units in parallel, three units in parallel, that will give you 24,000 watts. And by the way, they're split phase, okay? So we have 120, 240 voltage, okay? Anyway, the problem with the, when you start running three units, then you start getting some blackouts, you know? So what, what it does is uh, you get some uh, rebootings, you know, where the system will turn off and turn on like in about a minute or less, you know, well, seconds, you know, in a matter of seconds. The problem is, it's actually a blackout, you know, for your television because it's rebooting, you know, you're getting a power surge. So anyway, after so many weeks and months of dealing with this, well, something was damaged, you know? And some of the other uh, devices that got damaged, they actually were under warranty, so they didn't cost us a penny. So we just took them to the store or to the whatever, you know, to the place for warranty, they fixed them, and they didn't cost us a penny, like I said. But in this case, we're looking at a television, the, the retail price for this, tele, this television, actually actually the sales price, sales price of this television is probably about 1500 bucks plus tax, or, you know, more or less, you know, 16, 1700 bucks, whatever, you know. But if you have to pay retail, it's about $2,000 or close to $2,000 plus tax, it's gonna be, be probably over $2,000. But anyway, we end up replacing this part. But before we, before, before we spend the money on this part, we put another television here on this side, on this table, that it was the same brand. We were replacing parts from one television to the other. Like on this one, we put the, we put the good part from another television that we had on this side, we put it on this television, we tested and made sure that it was working. Yes, sure enough. And then the old part, we put it on the television that was working and we tried it and it didn't work. So we noticed that was the problem. So we ordered the part. We ordered this part with confidence without worrying about like not buying the right part, you know? The part, we purchased the part brand new. Uh, due to what is going on right now with all this uh, price gouging and stuff, you know? the. This part normally costs about 80 bucks, 70 to 80 bucks. Right now, we pay for this part about 110, 111 bucks plus tax. So more or less about 120 bucks. And honestly, that's crazy, that hurts. But anyway, still not that bad in comparison to 1500 plus tax or whatever, you know, 18, 1900 plus tax or let's say $2,000, you know. So that's a lot better, you know, to spend the 120 bucks instead of buying a brand new television. So anyway, we're not worried about like that the television is gonna get damaged again. No, no, because we purchased a brand new part. We didn't replace this part with a used part. By the way, uh, with the prices of technology nowadays, it's always recommended, you know, like if a television goes out, you know, it's always recommended just to, to replace it with a new one, you know? But in this case, this, this is not an old television. And like I said, the repair we're doing is putting another new part. We located the damage, we just put a new part. So we're not worrying, we're not worried about this television, you know, going out again in the near future. Not, not in the near future, like I said, because we actually fixed the problem with inverters too. We're running the inverters um, as uh, two units, okay? So we're running 12K. We're running actually three sets of uh, 12,000 watts. That's a total of 36,000 watts. We had to split the loads, but now our system is not rebooting all the time. The manufacturer is telling us, oh yeah, you can run all six together, you know, and get 36,000 watts. Well, honestly, they have a problem and it's damaging our devices, you know. I don't know if we're gonna keep trying that. But anyway, at this moment, you know, for now, we're just gonna give it a break and, <laughs> and we're gonna keep it as 12,000 each. So it's gonna be three units of 12,000, a total of 36,000 watts. But like I said, we're splitting the loads. And that way we're not getting the rebooting and the rebooting and restarting the systems, you know, or power searches or blackouts, whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it. So basically, 
We're just running these units, these inverters 24-7. All the power that we're getting right now is all grid and we're running it 24-7. Right now it's nighttime and we're running the power from our batteries without any kind of problems. We run this television, another television. My kids, they run more televisions. We have four refrigerators running. I mean, not an issue. Everything is working great. But like I said, the manufacturer of those inverters, you know, has a problem and the problem is affecting us as a customer because those units are not able to run in parallel. There's, they're, they're telling customers, you know, you can run up to nine units in parallel. Well, I'm not able to run four. Imagine running nine, that will be a nightmare. But anyway, um, just to let you guys know, that's what's going on right now. But anyway, that's how you fix a television like this after power searches, you know, and outages. You just replace this part, that's it. Replace this part, and after replacing that part, your television is gonna be working again most of the time, unless there's another problem. But anyway, these televisions are real simple. They have like a little board here, another bigger board on this side. They have some other little ones on the, in the middle, you know, but they're real simple. Anyway, I'm just ready to put it back. I already tested it and everything's working fine. Anyway, if you guys like the video, please subscribe. We need more subscribers to be uploading more of these videos. Thank you guys, take care, happy 4th of July. Thank you. Bye.